Hey, Shalom Amakim, Shalom Am. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh Bashimi, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole for elect. News in the gospel, bro. I lift up the standard of Yahweh Bashimi, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Mr. Akiya Mahalaya. Coming back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord's will it be edifying. It says over 200K being spent on drag queen shows at New York school record shows. Okay, to show you where your taxpayer money is going to funding this the, this freakism. Okay, this is pretty much, this is the end for Babylon. Okay, I don't know if you people can see it or if you don't understand what's really transpiring here. But this is the end for this wicked ass kingdom, man. Okay, because I mean, this is clearly, you know, SNG. And I say it that way because they get real, real finicky on the algorithms. You know, like I got my page shut down for two weeks, my other page. That um, that's you know common to brothers out there. It's shut down for two weeks, for nothing. You know, I tried to appeal it, and then they say, "Nah, we ain't gonna put it back up, bro." When I ain't even say shit, so we gonna be careful. But it says, uh, "New York sh is showering the taxpayers' fund on a group that sends drags into city schools, often without parental knowledge <laughs> or consent, even as parents in other states protect." protests increasingly aggressive efforts to expose kids to gender bending performers this is the type of freakers and this is a goddamn nightmare this is what our kids are being exposed to when we're not around okay and this is done purposely because now they're trying to get the kids they're the, the hunt is on for the children man and that's why this place has to burn america has to burn okay no if ands or buts it will burn it has to burn it needs to burn and it will burn Okay, and I'm not going, going to even play the video because for whatever reason, you know, we always get outed for these particular videos we put out there, you know. But anyway, it says, last month, Drag Story Hour in New York City, a nonprofit whose outrageously cross-dressed performers interacted with kids as young as three, damn, and earned 46000 from city contracts for, for appearances at public schools, street festivals, and libraries to city record shows. And this is what they want. They want people to get pissed off at this, man. Because if you come against it and you demonize it, then they, you know, they'd be justified on locking you up. But we're supposed to accept this, though, right? You know, these these freaks of nature. You know, people getting raped by these people, man. It's it's, it's crazy. We're clearly in Babylon the Great. I mean, th th this sin alone is enough for America to be destroyed. No ifs, ands, or buts, man. Okay. It says, since January, the group has organized 49 drag programs in 34 public elementary, middle, and high schools. And you notice it targets public schools. Why? Because that's what the epicenter of you Israelites are, okay? Jakes, all right? The Negro, Latino, and Native American, our kids are pretty much in the public schools, okay? Because the private schools and the Catholic schools, they're not, well, Catholic schools, that's another thing. But private schools ain't going for this shit, okay? But public schools... Because Jake is exposed to the less education, they have the most horrific foods. Okay, they have the most uh, uh, under uh, achieving performance, such as the academic levels are very low in public schools because they don't care about the public schools, man. It's just like general prison. It's like county almost. All right, but it says that it boasted on its website with appearances on five boroughs. It says, "I can't believe this. I am shocked," said public school mom and state assembly candidate. Helen Quee, whose 11 year old son attends a Manhattan middle school. She says, I would be furious if he was exposed without my consent. This is not part of the curriculum, right? But even if you go up there and you make an outcry about it, they will pretty much penalize you for it because these people are protected. But it says, since 2018, the group, previously known as the Queen Story Hour in New York City, before changing its name this year, has received a total of $207,000 in taxpayer cash. So this is where your money is going, people. When they go up on taxes and shit like that, you're paying taxes out of your paycheck. They're sending it to these, you know, these people right here, man. Okay? This is where they're sending it to. And I'm going to keep it muted. This is where your money is going. And this is this is a damn shame. Our kids are, are the kids are under attack, man. Okay? Clearly. This is why, man, homeschool would be the best ideal, but they make it so hard to do that. This is a scary thing, man, and people are so oblivious to it. They don't even have a problem with that, especially you, Jakes. 
But it says the tally includes 50,000 from New York State through his Council on the Arts, along with 157,000 from the city's Department of Education, Cultural Affairs, Youth and Community Development, and even the Department of Transportation. Wow, city data shows. It says, I'm considering pulling funding to any school in my district that has implemented this clean story hour, said the city council member, Vicky Palladino. Okay, it says we're taking hundreds of thousands of dollars out of the pockets of hardworking New York's taxpayers to fund the program teaching little children about their gender fluidity. Not not on my watch. Okay, because, hey, this is going to have a big outcry. People, that's why this society is highly divided. Okay, among the people, this is a divisive society because you got people mainly you liberals okay you democrats you promote this type of behavior but you so-called conservatives you republican party you're not really going for it though you're all part of the same team you know the democrats they push this shit on you people man because you jakes you have no resources you have no guidance <coughs> and it proves that we're the people of you how about shimmy how we shy because our people are quick to esteem wickedness okay jake turns a blind out of shit like this okay but it says here, most of the money was allocated by city council members from the discretionary budgets who set aside 80 bands for the group in the current fiscal year, more than tripling 25 bands or so 25,000 earned in 2020. So this is where your money is going. OK, and this ain't the only place. Chicago, New York, Kansas City is very, very uh, uh, liberal in that aspect, though Missouri is a, a Republican state, conservative state. Kansas City has two of these months, man. OK, they're observing it now. And also, they will observe it, I believe, in August, just for this particular city. Okay, it says, The Queen's Story Hours for Children have been featured in public library branches throughout the city since 2017. So when your kids are coming home acting weird, and all of a sudden they identify with this and this and that, this is why. Okay, it says, With upcoming events scheduled at Manhattan's Epiphany Library at the Woodside Public Library in Queens, among others. Now, look at this, man. Okay. This is clearly, clearly off, man. Okay, yeah. How about Shimi How Shah, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Shalak, Ryan, Wanashim, Wabayan, Waragan, Wamasha Patnu, man. Al Babal, Al Kal, Wa Babal, man. Okay, straight up bring evil and judgments on this place. And this is the reason why, hey, you have scorching heat. This is the reason why the interest rates, hey, the feds, I believe they went up uh, 750 points, if I'm not mistaken, or 0.75%, something like that, or 7.5%. Okay. We're trying to bail out these corporations which stocks and bonds which these corporations are pretty much broke okay they just have like a 10 percent interest bond that they're getting paid because they're investing in these companies but that's why a the economy is collapsing that's why war is happening that's why the famine is getting ready to commence and these people are going to be destroyed the lord going to save people like this for that fire man and you better mark those words okay but it says uh, dress performers typically read aloud from a list of books that teach acceptance and inclusion, including children's classic like Where the Wild Things Are and The Rainbow Fish and the overly celebrate the fluidity like the hips on the queen go swish, 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 man. OK, and you know why they do this? Because a child mind is very, very sponge like, OK, children are very impressionable. So get them when they're young. OK, that's how you teach a kid. You would still certain values in them when they're young and they would never depart from it. And that's why the scriptures say train up a child in a way he should go and he should not depart from it. Because as a kid, what you learn, you, you, you maintain it, man, especially if it's a big part of your life. You see what I'm saying? Like over there in Asia. OK, it's not the fact that the kids are smarter. It's the fact that they learn trigonometry in fucking third grade. Why it takes the average American that junior year of high school to learn that. Hey, Moab and Ammon has learned that shit. By the time they're eight, nine years old, so their minds are fresh. So, what you think that this is gonna do? This is straight witchcraft. This is indoctrination, man. Okay, and I'm gonna get into some scriptures, but I want to get through this. But you know, this is straight up indoctrination. This is straight up witchcraft, man. Okay, not even, not even no cap. This is just straight up what it is because they know what they're doing with this, and this is why the Most High is gonna destroy this damn devil. But it says, but the expansion into city schools has brought new feature programs to social media posts. But in April, the elaborately coffee harmonica sunbeam wore a slinky gown to meet with kindergartens while at Star Academy in Manhattan and color pages from the Dragivity book, <laughs> which encouraged kids to choose their pronouns and invent names. Wow. It says Bella Noche was a, wore a scanty mermaid like bra get up. 
to travel with second graders from Manhattan's PS34 on Mayfield trip and flame taught middle schoolers of all genders how to apply the dry makeup. Wow. This place got a burn, bro. I don't even want to read no more of this shit because I'm getting pissed the fuck off, man. You know, brothers got kids. This is why, brothers, man, you got to anoint your children, man. If you have them access to your kids, hey, do what you got to do to teach them the truth, man. Because if not, you don't want them to fall victim to this shit. But it says some of the, and this, this America is going to be destroyed. This place ain't got too much longer. This, this seals it. I, I'm confident in that, man. We might not even have a year or two left in this place. But it says some of the school related posts disappeared from the internet Friday, less than an hour after the post called Story Hour in New York City comment. But it says in one deleted photo, a performer known as Professor Lionel Longlegs, are you fucking kidding me, wore a t shirt emblazoned with the message, <clears throat> I don't want to look like B sis before the audience of the primary grade kids of the library PS191 on the Upper West Side. It says some city parents welcome the idea you of, of Queens to visit the school. And it says, I'm glad to see all types of people. And this is probably some dumbass niggas or some stupid blonde ditzy Edomite woman. It says, I'm glad to see all types of people included in what students are exposed to and learn in class, said Kristen Williams, and you 40 years old, whose 11 year old daughter attends East Village Middle School. But Storm Neverson, 26, had reservations about our nine and six year old girls exposed to the Star Academy. It says if they were in junior high school or middle school, I would be okay with that because I feel like they would never have a little bit more understanding. But uh, are you serious? Okay, are you fucking kidding me, man? Wow. And I'm gonna kind of skim through it. It says last week, angry Texas parents protested outside a kids to pride event bill as a family friendly show. It says, and you notice I'm skipping over words too, but it says at North Dallas bar called Mr. Mr. <laughs> where children tipped queens with dollar bills as they shimmy and shade. Oh my fucking God, man. It says the libs of TikTok account was banned Thursday for posting a series of tweets spotlighting additional drag shows. They can do this to kids, but a man can't take on two wives legally. Okay, a man can't uh, have a, ha a man can't. Uh, put his family in order. A man can't have access to his kids. I got to fight for my kid. But yet, they have access to my children. You see what kind of fucking society this is? That's why you fucking devils got to fucking go, man. You fucking need them got to go, man. All right? And when we, when we get you in slavery, man, you... Esau, man, I promise you, man, when we get your ass in captivity, you going to drink every motherfucking cup of this bullshit, man. I got to fight for my fucking kid, but yet this, this, these things have access to him and tipping them dollars? This is angry, man. This should piss you brothers off, man. It says Dr. Elena Fishbein, founder of the president of the conservative group No Left Turn in Education, slammed the city school in appearance as a flagrant disregard for the real needs of the students. Right. What about reading, writing, and arithmetic? You want to expose them to this trash. Exposing children to queens in schools is none other than abuse of authority for the purpose of sexualizing children, right? That's basically, that's grooming a kid, man. That's the shit that people are getting locked up for. You know, they want to call somebody a pedophile, but look at this. It says the DOE did not respond specifically to questions about parental notification and refused to say whether the queens must pass background checks, but defended the programs as life-saving. No. It says last year, 50 such and such or gender non-conforming people were killed in the United States. Good. Due to the identity, spokeswoman Susan Summers said. It says, we believe our schools play a critical role in helping young people learn about and respect people who may be different from them. Man, you got to be out your fucking mind, people, man. I, I'm, I've had it, man. All right, so check this out. We are grooming the new generation of Americans to be fully embracing of diversity and inclusivity. That's the whole goal, is to make kids that aren't used to seeing something like me more comfortable to seeing it. And shake a butt, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. This is totally demonic. <laughs> this is the world that this is where we come to. Look at this shit, bro. Look at the babies. Oh, wow. 
up and down like that, and that's twerking. And you wonder why your kid got demons on it, man. Bro. It's real. It's really fucking real. Yeah, I'll buy Shamal Rashad. We need to I will say. What has this world come to? It's come to a world where drag kids actually exist. And people do ketamine on a couch. All right, brothers, man. This, uh, enough is enough, man. This, this is, this is too much, bro. So this is the book of Genesis 19, and I'm gonna start at verses uh four. It says, here, matter of fact, five. It says, and they called unto Lot and said to him, Where are the two men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. You know what that means to know them? They wanted to rape the angels, man. These were two angels that went to sup with Lot for a night. They went to tarry with them because they were scoping out the city so they can destroy it because of this very act this act alone is what got those cities destroyed they still stated that within the uh the landmarks of that that place is really unidentified and on top of that like a place where they have an idea where the vicinity is they say like the uh charred ruins and like the, the sands and so forth is still pretty much like sulfur like that's how bad the most high he made an example and he's going to make an example out of this place and them people that we saw they're going to burn man all right and it says a lot went out at the door and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Okay, he called it wicked. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known men. But let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and ye do as them is good in your eyes. Damn, he was going to let them have these daughters and have their way with them. That's how wicked they were. It says, now therefore come they. It says, unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to sojourn and he would needs to be a judge. Now we would deal worse with thee than with them. Okay, he said, if you don't get out the way, we're going to deal with your ass, man. And they pressed sore upon the man. Even Lot came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. Right. So the angels pretty much blinded them, man. And the men said unto Lot, Has thou here any besides, son-in-law, and thy sons and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this out of this place? It says, For we would destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of Yahweh, and the Lord hath sent us to destroy it, man. Okay? So the most high is gonna destroy. Most high is gonna release holy hell on Babylon, man. I see why the plagues must come. I see why mass starvation and such and such. Must be a thing here in America, man. I see it now. It, it makes a lot of sense, man. Okay? Because, hey, these people, they lost their goddamn minds, man. Okay? And nobody's calling this shit out. And if you call this out, you're considered a bigot. you consider considered radical. you consider considered uh, uh, un unfavorable. Okay? Everybody's looking at you like, well, what's wrong with you? Why you don't like this? What do you mean, man? You saw the little babies in the video twerking like that. That's not a good, that's, that's a wicked spirit to be in. Okay, but it says for we would destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord Bro, going back to that video I showed y'all, man Okay, that's what it's going into Okay, so this is the book of 2 Peter 2 And I'm going to start at verses uh, 6 Matter of fact, let's start at 5 It says, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly Right, because the Most High destroyed the, uh, he destroyed the earth or the first ruler or the first i ain't gonna say the first because this is the same planet but hey he destroyed the first destruction came by fire man okay and it's so weird and that's show you how grown they know they are because they took the whole p-r-i-d-e symbol and made it the rainbow okay because when the lord said he promised he won't uh destroy the earth for the flood anymore okay and they was really making mockery of the most high when they chose those colors but the lord said he would destroy it by fire okay and it says here and turning the cities of, of S and G into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those thereafter should live ungodly. Okay, so that's the point. Okay, the Lord showed that. That was an example. Okay, he was like, well, look, this is the benefactor or this is the repercussions of what happened when you do this type of behavior. So what we just showed you, brothers, in that video, that's the type of behavior and that's the type of judgment America is going to reap, man.
Okay, this place must burn. And no if ands, the fucking buts. At this point, it got to burn. That's it. It has to burn, brothers. You know? And it says here, and delivered just lot. Because that's how wicked that city was. And it, this is a representation of that, man. Okay? Vexed with the filthy. And you know, all this shit always happened on a Democrat watch. Joe Beasy, Obama, all these people. This is what they promote. But yeah, you fucking brickhead niggas out there you put these people in office and you think they're gonna come to liberate you and make your life better no they're running a schmuck on your fucking kids man okay and it says here delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds man okay so that's the whole point that was unlawful and it says here the lord knoweth how to deliver the golly out of temptations and to preserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished, man. Okay? So that's the point. He's reserving his place. Why? Because, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai wants to destroy it, man. All right? And that's just where it ends at. Okay? So this is the book of Isaiah 3 and 9. It says, they show, it says, the show they count as dove witness against them. And they declare that sin is Sodom and they hide it not. Clearly they don't hide it. Okay? Clearly they didn't hide it. That was straight up blatantly in the open. Okay? It's not hidden anymore. You see? And it says here, they declare their sin as you know what, and they hide it not, but woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man. Okay? That's the whole point. They rewarded evil unto themselves, man. Okay? So, you people are finished out here because the Lord is getting ready to turn up the famine. He's getting ready to starve you people out. Okay? The Most High is getting ready to put holy hell on you people, man. And you still ain't going to realize it until it's too late, until the Lord really destroyed this place. Because the people we saw in that video, they're going to be the ones cast alive into the lake of fire, which is those men. Those people are clearly deserving of the nuclear missiles, man. And I see why the Most High is going to release every missile to hit this bitch, hit this wicked-ass kingdom. Because I'm sick and tired of this fucking place, man. I'm getting mad now, you know? Man, this is ridiculous, bro. I'm, 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 I'm just losing my train of thought over this shit, man. Privy members, man. Yup, this is Deuteronomy 23 and 1. It says, He that is wounded in the stones or have his privy members cut off should not enter to the congregation of the Lord. There was already a law written on this because Jake was into all that type of debauchery. And guess who support that? The fucking black woman. Black women support that shit, man. Okay? She support that. She don't care about that. And her mind said, That's sexy. That's liberal. That's free. Okay, that's that's a that's a brave thing. Like this nigga Biden gonna say some, oh uh, uh, he gonna say some uh. Well, you know, eleven year old boy, that's considered brave. Nah, you you fucking pedo, you pity you 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 foul pedo. Okay, no, it's not brave. That's called wickedness and stupidity. And most people that do that, they fall into depression because their their natural transmitters don't adhere with the decisions, man, and they end up committing suicide, man. Okay, so that's off, man. All right, let me find that precept here when it says a man should not put on a woman's garment. I think that's uh, damn, woman garment. Yep, Deuteronomy 20, 25. It says, the woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all they that do the, are abomination to the Lord thy power. And that's straightforward, man, okay? One more precept, and I'm going to end it. But this place got to be destroyed, as we read out there in 2 Peter. This place got to go. I've had it with it, man. I, 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 it's, it's, it's done. Malachi 4 and 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And a day that cometh shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch, man. Okay, so that's going to be the, the, the fucking, the, the fate of you people out here that's engaging in this folly. But I'm going to end it there. All praises and glory and honor is due to you. How about you? How it shine with that? Shalom and a barbabah. Shalom.